Welcome back to FS22 and episode four of Greenland. And we have our silage harvest to finish up. So we are down at the store to buy a big trailer to try something slightly different for that. So let's roll the intro and get to work. Uh, yeah, we are down at the store to get our big trailer go on the back of the Deutz. And we are also gonna buy some of the other things that we need to progress this series. I'm planning to do grapes on here, so we do need to save a bunch of money for that. But we are going to get ourselves the Crone TX560. What's the difference between the 560 and the 520? Apart from the fact that the 560 is cheaper and it holds more. We're going to get the 560. We're going to have the cover on it. So this is a Giants mod. I am not going to put on the um, number plate because I'm not doing number plates on here. If you want to know why I just reset the cell point, check the outtakes at the end. Uh, so no number plate. Let's get that guy brought and hooked up to the Deutz. And then we're going to do a bit of a spending spree. And it's going to stay down at the store for now and I'll come and pick it up later. So I'm not sure I am pondering putting in a fermenting silo to, uh, to put this round of corn into. Just to do something a little bit different um, but let's go shopping so trailers i want a trailer for the lorry which is going to be the flegal ass yep the flegal ass again no number plate on the back for now i might add them on later on so that's 60 grand gone um i want a under slurry tanks i want to get the slurry tanker because we're going to have slurry and digestate to move about and i also want to get a spreader because we're going to have lots of digestate to spread and i'm thinking we are going to go for the joskin it's got a 14 meter spread width which is probably quite nice for the size of fields that we've got and it's not huge and i'm going to buy two of them um so actually i want to put fenders on them because i think they look better we're going to get two so that we can double up on the probably digestate spreading so that's those guys done i want to get a potato planter because we're going to do potatoes on here um as a crop next year where's potato technology there we go we're going to get the six meter potato planter Um, have I added it in? The new tractor I want. I have. If you're on my Discord, you will have seen pictures of this. Um, this is a work in progress T6175 methane powered tractor. Uh, and it's a blue power as well. I want this to be our fertilizer spreader um, because putting it on the little massy just didn't work very well uh, and also we are generating methane at the bga so it would be cool to have a tractor that can use that methane and i just think this looks so cool really good i don't know why giants have got all the blue power stuff in the base game t6 but it's not available to select it's stupid um the other thing we're going to move into is grapes. Um, we can't plant them yet, but we can buy the fields we plan to use. So I'm planning to use these two fields, which are south facing fields um, just across the river from our farm. Uh, so the first one is 200,000 and the second one is 250,000. Um, they are planted in grass at the moment, so we can get to cutting those. I don't know if the grass is ready to harvest yet or not. It is so. The grass silage video coming up probably in the near future as well um, so that leaves us with 1.3 million pounds we have to buy our cows still and we uh, have to plant our grapes and um, i have looked and the uh, field 39 was about a million pounds to plant the grapes in which is just stupid I have no idea if we're going to actually make money on those um, I am working on a video looking at whether you can make money out of grapes and that will probably come out way before we get to doing it so yeah the plan is to do grapes on here we might 
use one of the productions as well. Um, so I do want to get into productions on here. We've got a lot of sugar beets, so we're probably going to do some sugar production. There is grain mill built into the map, which we're probably going to buy and use as well. So that 10 million pounds is pretty soon going to be gone. But because I uh, am still pondering the fermenter um, and I had an opportunity to record the intro, I'm going to switch here into time-lapse mode with future me and we'll put in the fermenter if I'm going to use it and we'll get this corn cut. So I did decide to go for the fermenter and we're going for the one by Omatana which is £30,000 and that does I think about 5,000 litres an hour of silage fermenting. Um, so it's probably it's not going to keep up with the BGA but the cool thing about having the fermenter is we can set that to distributing and it will send silage straight to the mini BGA um, and then process instantly so yeah we see we quickly had a look at the class that I put the jewels on and the silage pit which I think had 450 odd thousand liters in it so that's covered now and fermenting um, and we will start working on filling up the fermenter that we've got I said the plan is to use the use course plate for the forage harvester and then we're going to drive the doits and do all of the carting and i'm hoping that's going to speed the process up in the last video there was quite a lot of time waiting for auto drive to uh, get itself to the track to the forage harvester i think next year we might run two big trailers rather than the two smaller forage trailers um, that probably will give enough time for the uh, for the trailers to empty into the bunker quick shout out to the channel members thank you for your support to the channel really do appreciate it but yeah I think next year we'll probably do maybe two of these trailers maybe we will sell the two Marshall trailers and uh, run two of these I think the T7 should handle one okay Got to admit, this, this Doint 8 series did struggle on some of the hills with the trailer fully loaded. I was kind of surprised, so we uh, we might need to look long term at another large tractor. So I, I was really tempted actually to get into running some of the field work today um, in the background using course play, but the uh, fields need liming and stuff and so I didn't want to, to do all of that but we've got a lot of fields that need plowing still uh, obviously we've harvested four cornfields three of which are pretty big and they all need plowing because they've had corn in and a lot of the other fields need plowing as well the beet fields are going to need plowing because they've got beets in but also a lot of the fields need liming so I think probably next episode we will make a start on that I might go and lease a big lime spreader rather than using the two that we have or I might put in a lime silo um, so that we can fill from that and maybe use auto drive to refill the spreaders that is, that is an option if we have the two convertible spreaders uh, we've got a couple of tractors that could run those where we could put the, uh, the T7 on one and the T6 methane powered tractor that we have on the other I have skipped a fairly big chunk of the silage harvesting and I don't show much of the other field as well because they're quite big and they took quite a long time. So the thing that we are going to get to in this video is buying our dairy cows, or the first of our dairy cows. So the cool thing about this silage fermenter is it's producing silage straight away, which means we can produce some TMR straight away. So we don't have to wait for the pit to ferment. Um, we can just get straight into getting the dairy cows tomorrow tomorrow in game the plan is to get 80 cows um, or two lots of 80 cows um, but split them up so we're going to buy uh, next game day which we'll progress to after this field we're going to buy 80 dairy cows that are mature and obviously ready to start reproducing we're going to wait a month or two and buy another 80 that means we'll have 160 in the pen and it holds 240 uh, just a quick one we got 375,000 liters of silage off that first field yesterday or chaff and silage and we're just setting course plate up on field 78 now which is even bigger um, this is going to give us a lot of chaff off of it so yeah the plan with the cows is to buy 80 mature cows in this game day and then wait a month or two and buy 80 more and the reason for that is that will leave us the pen that we've got holds 240 and that will leave a space for 80 calves so what we can do is we can have the calves we can then move those to another pen so i'm planning to put a 
a fenceless open pasture in the field next to the cow pen and we'll let the calves grow for a month or two and then we'll then move them into that open pasture to mature and that pasture is going to have beef cattle in it as well um, so yeah that's the plan so it gives us an option to uh to keep producing calves still produce a lot of milk because we're going to need that to make money on here um, and to raise those calves up to uh to sell on or have as milk cow don't know that field is particularly tricky to get out of and i think i need to when i replant it i need to be careful that i plant a crop that's going to be a fairly late harvest we're probably going to do potatoes in there i think next year it's going to be a big potato field but yeah the uh the potato pack by dazed um he's released a beta of that if you want the link it's on my discord and it was on argy's um, Wednesday stream and it's in testing still for release on all platforms on the mod hub but there is a beta available um, and we're going to put that on here I think because I think it would be really cool because that gives us premium potatoes seed potatoes and normal potatoes I think um, and yeah it would just be another cool thing to add in I'm just moving the simple inspector so you can see in the top right hand corner Causeplay has a new feature that it gives you a little info hud and if you click on that it will jump you to the vehicle that's talking about the uh the jaguar needs some fuel it's been running for a day and a half constantly harvesting silage and it's getting pretty low so yeah it does need a refuel but we're almost finished and hopefully it will last and then we can go refuel it and it's going to rain soon hopefully we can get that done uh, get the silage cut before the rain kicks in So I'm trying, partly based on some feedback and partly because I want to, I'm trying to do some different things in this series. So be using the silage fermenter, um, which I wouldn't normally do. I, normally, I love doing pit silage. We're going to be putting in some productions and I'm just looking there at the sugar mill um, and looking for somewhere to put that. So we're going to be doing sugar production with all of our sugar beet. Uh, we're going to be doing grapes come springtime. Um, and I might do grape juice and raisins, I'm not sure. We'll have a look at whether we want to do those or not. Uh, and with the potatoes, we're going to do premium potatoes. So yeah, I might buy the grain mill as well. Um, we've only got oats at the moment, but I might buy the grain mill and start doing some flour. We've got one row to go on here, and that is our all our silage, all our corn fields cut. We just have two fields of sugar beets now. I'm not going to buy field 88 that I talked about, which is another big sugar beet field, just here on the left hand side. With the extra land that we've brought and the, the plan to do grapes, I think we need to save the cash at this point. Well, we'll start feeding silage into the BGA very soon. And in total, we got 854,000 liters of chaff off those two fields. Uh, about 480,000 off that second one. So just buying 5,000 liters of diesel, give the Deutz a wash and get the trailer put away and then we'll get the Jaguar over, get it refueled, get it repaired and put away for the winter. So I'm kind of conscious that we're short of space as well. And we possibly need some, to put another shed up somewhere. Um, we've got a load of stuff at the store still we need to bring back and the yard is pretty full. Um, I guess we could buy one of the other yards around the map, maybe. And then we got finished just before the rain hit, which is kind of cool. So yeah, this guy can be packed away now until next September, probably. And we'll be cutting more silage. Might use, might get the uh, either the direct disc or the pickup header and do some stuff with grass as well in the springtime. Maybe when we do first cut silage. Although we're going to need to make hay as well. So yeah, maybe, maybe we'll, when we do some grass work, we will use the forage harvester as well. This can go in here for now. And we'll uh, get the class put away as well. I think I can tuck these down the side here still. Um, where we had them before. Not so easy with the jewels on here. I'm going to leave them on for now. Um, not sure what we're going to be using this tractor for next. So yeah, we'll leave the jewels on for now and get that packed away. And we're going to jump in the lorry and go get ourselves some dairy car cows calves and um, i take a wrong turn here i thought this was where the animal buy point was is actually where the lumber yard is so we're gonna have to try and turn around get back out on the main road and get down to the animal dealer driving like a pro again here we go it's down here 
this yard actually looks really tempting it's i think it's about 50 grand and there are there are two sheds and a silage clamp and we could use the silage clamp as a shed as well and that might be the solution for storing our kit it's not too far from the farm and things like the combine and the forage harvester could go in there and the lorry um, and for for the lorry it's right near the animal dealer which might be useful and um, so yeah i'm pondering uh buying that plot of land because it's got three sheds on it if you know of any other good spots on the on the map that have got sheds like that give me a comment below because i am needing more shed space so we've got 30 in there already we need another 50 so we'll do two loads of 25 um, i think that one was about 45,000. i missed it because i was talking away happily uh, but yeah we'll get another full load and that's nearly 39,000. so yeah this is why i was keeping cash because we're very quickly going to dip under the million and we need about a million to plant one field of grapes so in, you know we really need two million to plant all the grapes if we're going to plant all of them this year right, one more trip and then we can get into bedding the cows down and making them some tmr and that's going to start getting us milk which is going to start generating potential income so we're going to have stuff to sell at the BTA and we're going to have um, milk to sell. I'm tempted to hold off on that until we get to the point where we've spent loads of money. Although we're going to need about 2 million to plant all the grapes, so maybe not. What I'm not going to do is start paying the loan down yet. Um, probably going to wait until sort of springtime next year to start seriously thinking about how we pay the loan back. Um, obviously, it's sitting at the moment at about 10, well, at exactly 10 million. So, yeah. 80 cows into the shed let's get some straw going uh, straw bloat is over here we uh probably the little alpine is a good tractor to put on that although actually it turns out it's probably a little bit small maybe one of our silage carting tractors would have been a better option and we can probably leave those on there for now we'll jump in the fasten and get the bale spike and spawn some bales out of casa farms dynamic bale storage currently in testing on the mod hub for pc release um yeah because this video is coming out tomorrow so you won't have day after tomorrow coming out of the weekend it might be out by now it's, it's in testing if it's out download it go rate it on mod hub rate it five stars because it's awesome so yeah we'll blow some straw in hopefully four bales will be enough it'll probably nearly fill it um with with 80 cows i'm not sure how quickly we're going to use straw up actually i was going to say we're 240 but we're not full um, and we probably won't very often be full um, because that, so my thoughts about rotating cattle and stuff so we need to make some tmr now um, so we're going to spawn some bales out and the self-propelled fasting forage tmr mixer wagon thing will eat the bales which is really cool so we're going to put in 14 and a half thousand liters of hay and then some silage um, so yeah with the cows what i'm thinking is that we'll we'll do something similar with beef cow we'll buy them in batches and then rotate them through so when they need feeding up ready for sale we'll bring them into here fatten them up sell them off that's my plan and just you know try and make money that way we might do something similar with the sheep actually we might put in an open sheep pasture for fattening up the lambs that we get don't think about that um so 15 ish thousand liters of hay top the rest up with silage i keep forgetting the mineral feed uh, we will put that in the next batch and we're going to mix three batches and that will get the animals pretty much full in fact it does get them full so a bit more hay i really like this i very rarely use soft propelled feed mixes but this is really cool particularly combined with this bale shed um, where we can spawn the bales that we need eat them with the uh forage wagon and then add the silage in once the pit is fermented we'll be using that and again we can just fill that up from here and we need to back in here to get some mineral feed and we'll get a little bit of that in not too much and uh, just top up the cow's feed but thanks for watching folks if you enjoyed the video do leave me a comment if you're not click subscribe turn on notifications and hit that like button we do not smash like buttons if you smash it you break it you have to buy me a coffee catch you next time